Good morning, everybody. You get a vlog today because we have a bunch of tiny little stuff we've got to do before we actually spend that GoFundMe money on tools. Um, tomorrow, the guy is coming down and he's bringing a truck and he's going to carry the wheelbarrow full of tools that we purchase. But we have one small problem. You guys will remember that the entire time that I've been here in Ukraine, I have not been able to use my debit card. I've had to pay for cash with everything because my card just doesn't work here. Um, that's fine if you're purchasing small stuff like a, like a Diet Coke because it just costs a dollar. But we are going to be spending $3,000 worth of money on tools. That means I need to get like $3,000 worth of cash before tomorrow. So we've got to go run around to all of the ATMs, get as much cash as we can, and hope that like we're able to do that. You will also notice that I'm currently cleaning off the lens to my camera. We have a photo shoot planned today, and I hope that I'm able to teach you guys something while we're out. No, honestly, this camera, I don't know, it upsets me a little bit because I remember I spent like $2,000 on this equipment thinking that I would be able to like go on photo shoots and I would be able to like make content with this camera, but it's really just for photography and I'm not able to make money with photography. So it basically just sits in my bag. This has been a $2,000 bad investment. I definitely do not get nearly as much use out of this camera as I thought I would when I first purchased it. <sighs> but we do get to use it today. Perfect. Let's go ATM hopping and see how much cash we can withdraw in each individual spot. No, wait, I actually do want to show you guys something. So the place that I'm staying in right now, it has possibly the sketchiest elevator I've ever seen. Okay, the buttons are upside down. Like you see that, that is an upside down four. Watch the lights dim as soon as I push this button. Okay. Now that German bank that I went to before, I remember that that was really good about fees. So we'll try to go there. Oh, it's raining. Okay, well, that might change my plans. I don't exactly have time to wait because I know that there's like a limit to how much money you can withdraw per day. So I don't want to wait until tomorrow because I might not be able to withdraw it all. Let's see how much we can take out in one go. Maximum banknotes dispensed is 40. The available denominations are 200, which means the most we can take out is 8,000 or about $200. That means we've got to do this like 15 times to be able to get out the full amount. Oh my God, this stack of paper is gonna be so fucking thick. Okay, actually new idea. Let's see if we can find another ATM that's got larger denominations because if we do it here with these 200s, we're gonna have a stack of paper that goes up to my knee. Funny enough, I think it'll actually be cheaper for us to use a more expensive ATM, one that charges higher fees, because if they've got larger denomination bills, that means we need to do fewer transactions. We don't need to do this 15 times, we might need to do this two. So it could actually be cheaper to use the more expensive option. Let's give this one a try. I remember that this one is more expensive, but I want to see what denominations they have. It looks like they do have a thousand. Let's try to withdraw 50,000. Wait, no, 40,000 because they probably got uh, a 40 bill thing. Let's do 40,000. It's giving me an error. I think that's too much. Okay, it's letting me do 20,000. I put my debit card in just to see if that works. I'm getting an error, but it's not giving me my card back. Okay, good, I got scared there. Okay, let's try Raffson Bank again, but with a different ATM. Maybe this one will be stocked up on bigger bills. They have $500 bills, but they still have the 40 bill cap. Let's find out how many we can take out. Okay, 20,000. Perfect. And we're just gonna keep doing that until they force us to stop. 20,000. Number of transactions exceeded. Daily limit exceeded. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, well, what we are currently developing is a scary amount of cash to have on hand, but we've still got to get like six times more. So we have a slight problem. We have about 25% of the cash that we need. We have about 30,000, we need 120,000. So that means that if we do the same thing tomorrow that we did today, we'll have about half of what we need. We need to double that. We can figure that out after the sun goes down a little bit because it's getting hot. I'm actually gonna cook lunch myself today. It is a rare vlog indeed. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster every time I get in here. Like one of those old wooden rickety ones. See, normally I'm only staying in a place for like one or two nights, so it's not worth going grocery shopping, but I'm here for a couple of nights, so we're gonna make food. Now this apartment doesn't have a toaster, but what it does have is a pan and a skillet. So we're gonna make some toast. I don't have a bread knife trying to make it work with this flat edge. We are making avocado toast, and I found that when you're making avocado toast with fresh bread like this, you wanna go with like thicker slices than you would if it was pre-cut. Power on, and then just let it sit on the skillet. I've actually heard that the most common way people end up cutting themselves when they're cooking 
is trying to cut avocados and try to get the seed out. Avocados are apparently very dangerous. This is gonna be controversial, but what I do is I take the salt and pepper and I just put them in the avocado spread rather than sprinkling it on top. Let's go ahead and flip these guys. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking fantastic. I think I honestly enjoy this more than I like Llama June. But you can't really get this at stores very easily. You have to make this yourself. No, so check this out. Uh, there is a supermarket downtown. It's like a really big mall. And they actually import Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. This costs like $1.50. So it is more expensive than you would get in America by like 50%. But a buck fifty for this? Fantastic. So this is currently how much cash we have. And we need to get four times this amount. And I feel bad for the cashier that has to deal with this. God, I wish there was a better way to do this because the cashier that is like actually having to check us out is gonna need to manually count every single one of these bills. I don't think they have one of those cash machines that just like flips through it. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be embarrassing. It, it would be also embarrassing if I tried to use my card and it didn't work, but this is going to be probably equally embarrassing, but at least we'll get our tools. Like just fucking look at this. I've always wanted to do something like this. Like, obviously this isn't dollar bills, so it's not like quite as impressive, but and we still need to get more. It's gonna be so fucking embarrassing. They might not even accept it. Can you imagine that coming up there with just like a stack of cash and then being like, no, no. I'm not sure what this is gonna do to our photo shoot plans. We will uh, have to play it by ear and see. We will see what happens. Hopefully we're able to do it. I am not taking the elevator. I just wanted to show you guys that one time. Okay, it is pouring. Fuck. My camera's not waterproof. I'm trying to hide my camera with my jacket. This is what Kiev looks like in the rain. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Ruslana. Um, she is a Ukrainian girl, so obviously the only reason that she is talking to me right now is because she wants a green card. <laughs> <laughs> you brought an umbrella. Oh my god, yeah. that's fantastic. And it's super small. It can be in my bag. <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, no, my camera is actually not waterproof, so the camera needs to stay under the umbrella. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to film myself taking the shots. It's hard because I don't have three fucking hands. <laughs> Okay, let's go again. <laughs> ah! Fucking soaking now. Okay, stand in that and then look at me. Okay, so the first couple shots that we're doing, they're just practice, get everybody like into the mood, get everybody feeling more relaxed and more comfortable in front of the camera. Okay, let's go. <sighs> okay. I just made food, so it probably smells like avocado toast in here. I'm really glad she brought that red umbrella. That's such a good idea. I'm sure she wasn't like actually planning on having that be like a prop, but the color is fantastic. Okay, so when you guys are with your friends and your friend hands you their phone, they're like, hey, can you take a picture of us? I'm gonna give you guys some tips that you can do to make sure that the pictures turn out better. So let's say that Ruslana here just handed me her phone and she wants this nice little picture of her in front of the windowsill. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to remind them to straighten their posture. Take their shoulders. Okay, yep, perfect, perfect, hold that, hold that. You got the camera now? Yes, I guess I'm filming. <gasps> I can see myself. Yes. <laughs> She's currently reading through the comments you guys left on yesterday's post. <laughs> Thank you to people who say like I look good but not something mean to me. I'm... I never talked to cameras, so I don't know. <laughs> what to say but yes. Okay, because it is wet outside, I don't want to risk my camera. We will leave the camera here and we will go. Oh yeah, there's the umbrella. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad she brought this. I don't know why I don't have an umbrella. Like. Oh, perfect. Okay, so the place that she took me to, it's called Milk Bar. I've heard of it before. I know it's a franchise, but apparently this has her favorite cake. So we're going to try that. <laughs> I actually really like it. This has the feel of like a 1950s retro cafe style thing. Okay, so this is apparently called the Victoria Secret Cake. I don't know how they got the license for that name, but it's got strawberries, some, oh, that's hard. That's like a Hershey's Kisses. You want can I cut into it? Is, is that okay? Okay, let's take a look what's inside of it. It's very pink. Yeah. It's a cheesecake. So some of you will remember that I actually don't like cheese. So she is welcome to have the whole cake herself. I did get a banana shake though. They use the little, the little paper straws. It's for turtles. Yeah, we're saving turtles. Yeah. Okay, so I found that if you take care of, if you get rid of like the frosting stuff on it, the cake itself is fantastic. It's even got a layer of strawberries inside of it. So it's got like the strawberries on the top, but it's also got like a layer of strawberry paste. The camera is rolling. Heads up. <laughs> she wants to see all of the comments that people are leaving on Instagram. <laughs> oh, hey, we found another ATM. Let's see how much money we can withdraw from this one. Okay, it says amount should be divisible by 50. Let's try 20,000. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Okay, no, uh, that bank, I've exceeded my daily limit, so they won't let me withdraw cash either. One thing that I noticed about Slavic people, so you can see how there's no cars here, but the thing still says red. They will like not cross a crosswalk if it says red. I, I guess there's like safety things concerned, but like even if there's no cars there. Now we can continue walking. <laughs> okay, so apparently they've got a fountain here with drinkable water. You can see the people are filling up their water bottles at it. That's interesting. Yeah, because a lot of the water here you can't drink. I mean, you can drink once. <laughs> <laughs> you can drink once. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna seem weird, but we've got to give a thumbnail for this video. Uh, into the light, into the light. Okay, oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, go. I'm tired. I know. It's hard getting all of the shots. We are taking the elevator. I hope like if we fall like I will still She's she's studying to be a doctor. She just finished her fourth year. So if we like fall in this elevator, she can like kill me quickly. Okay. We survived. This place has an air conditioner. And so we need to get twice as many bills here that we have currently by tomorrow. Okay, she is gone. Um, what do I need to do? I still need to get like 60,000 more Revna by tomorrow. Hopefully the banks will be open so I might be able to talk to like a bank teller. I really hope that I can just talk to any arbitrary bank teller and have them turn this into thousands. And I hope that I don't need to physically have a bank account there. I am glad I got to use that camera. It's still way overpriced for what it is that I purchased. I purchased a $2,000 camera and I've been able to use it once on this trip. Disappointing, but I'm glad I did get to use it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.